Hello, this is Svetlana Shepitsina and this tutorial is about React Server Rendering Functionality. I'm using Web Story Map shortcuts and after hotkeys during my work, all of them you can find in my video description on YouTube and download. Also in the video description you will find a link to our startup template. Uh, in order to use it, you just need to copy to clipboard and run all necessary comments. Let's come to WebStorm, check out from version control, GitHub. It's really easy. Choose, choose location and choose name. Clone. Wait a couple seconds. And here it is. First command and pm install. And if you use our after hotkeys, you can run an i tab and enter. And in order not to wait uh, so long, I have created exactly the same template. Just like it was from the beginning. And I need to run next command. It's nrd run server start dev. And after that, in another window, and our w run webpack for development and this application will be open for you automatically in browser you don't need to run it manually it's simple uh, startup application with couple views uh, but uh, the most uh, important feature of this app that when you click on view page source you can see that uh, html content is rendered for us it's our home page we have title and if we come to contact page control u and we have contact page content also rendered and the same will be with any view. So it's not like on Angular application uh, when you create it up, uh, upload it on, uh, on your website and uh, you are really shocked that uh, crawlers cannot read any uh, content from your application, applications, so uh, only index.html file is rendered and when you try to find uh, your website on Google you can see instead of content your divs, directives and something like this but no content at all. Uh, with React functionality you have possibility uh, to create your server site up from the beginning and that's what we did for our template and if uh, I would, um, uh, I would like to emulate a user agent, for example, Google bot, reload page. And you can see that any bot, Yahoo, can see exactly the same information that we created for client side. Server side application and client side application, it's only one app, only one file that is rendered for both uh, cases. Uh, to find this uh, app, uh, its extension, user agent, you need to come to settings, extensions, and it's called user, switcher, uh, user agent switcher. It's very uh, useful feature uh, for your development. We will come back to default, reload, and with our template on development, if you change something, for example, if you want to delete your content on contact us, Your server 
restarted and uh, when we come to contact you can see that uh, our view is clean immediately and so when I take everything back you don't need to reload browser every time when you change something so how this functionality works uh, let's come to webstorm and when we run our application you can see that uh, from folder scripts uh, file server js runs and let's all open it here it is and in this file we import uh, components that we need for this functionality and in React uh, everything is about components we will create components uh, we will export we will import them we will render them and I will try to, to show uh, as much as possible about this functionality in future and for now we import what we need we need express component we uh, need our uh, main server file and we need database in future and here we define if request that comes to our application to database or to our react server we don't use uh, database for now so we come to our server alt b and uh, here we uh, can see that we import uh, we import our main components like uh, express uh, router and we do it here uh, because everything uh, will be managed uh, from the beginning by express router uh, on angular application we did it manually and here everything uh, is done by uh, by React functionality. So we just import Express Router, we name it Express, and let's come back to our server. Here we need it too, but also here we need React Router to create uh, this server side functionality. And also we will need uh, React DOM server and uh, create location module, create location uh, library. And another amaz amazing feature about REC that uh, it's not necessary to import a whole library uh, when you use only a couple elements from that. And that is uh, how it works with REC router. We need just two methods, two methods, router context and match. And from REC DOM server we need two methods. We uh, will use just one of them at, uh, at one time, uh, but we can import both. One of them we will uh, use on uh, development and another one uh, on uh, production to save. I will show uh, how it saves uh, a little bit uh, space for your application. Uh, with match we emulate user navigation here it is um, it allows us to match the roads uh, to location uh, without any rendering it accepts two parameters roads and location and runs callback function with error redirect lo uh, location and render props uh, when user comes to our page uh, and run uh, when uh, when user runs our application uh, first of all he has possibility uh, to see rendered content immediately so if i close it or uh, run on real application on chicago web app come you can see that content is loaded immediately and uh, if I run F12, and uh, reload once more, 
you can see that our main file app.js is loaded and why, uh, while uh, this JavaScript file is being executed, HTML uh, content is already rendered for us. Even if you have a really large application with this functionality, any user that comes uh, to your application has possibility to uh, upload uh, to see first page immediately. And here is uh, this functionality for rendering markup. We can find it here. We use render to static markup function and here is routing context that does uh, uh, work uh, for synchronous rendering uh, road components in order uh, that we can come to any view and everything will be rendered correctly from any road. And uh, when we render our HTML content, we use join method in order not to have all HTML content saved to one sentence. I need to reload. And when I click Ctrl U, Sometimes I need to restart server, control C, Y, uh, npm run dev. Uh, I, uh, sorry, I show on real website and I can show it on local host. Here it is, you can see the difference. It's once uh, like one bunch, it's not convenient to read and uh, on our real website here it is. Does it show? Here. You can see that uh, it looks a little, bit, a little bit more clean with this approach. And also we have possibility to use two different methods render to st static markup or render to string from React DOM server. And if we use a render to string, HTML will be generated will all, uh, uh, with all uh, React components and it will look like on our real server. Control U. You can see here are data IDs, all data from React. And on local server where we use render to static markup. Uh, only uh, pure HTML is generated, so it's convenient uh, to use vice versa on a real website this method and uh, during development uh, it's better to use render to static markup uh, to save some um, size of rendered HTML to uh, make it smaller.